Happening, everybody. Yeah. How you doing, Miss Ma'am? I'm good. Well, and we in here drinking Reesville water, getting it in. <laughs> Don't worry about something I cook. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's Red Bull on top of that. Always. Really. I, Sugar free. I'm, I'm no saccharin. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I want to get this out the way. Let me get my serious face. I got my glasses on. Hold on. Yep. Hold on, you gotta take yours off. We can't both be serious. You know, yes, we, I'm Barbara Walters, and you Kanye West right oh, now. Oh no, so. don't do that. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, Kim K. <laughs> so where did you get your name? I found my name on a fortune cookie. <laughs> I'm joking. Nah, for real though. Like. My name is like very simple, you know what I'm saying? Correct spelling, young, Y-O-U-N-G, relatively new to the game, you know what I'm saying? I've been doing it for a while, but as far as shows and, 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 and the eyes of the industry, I'm relatively a new face. So I put the young on there, you know what I'm saying? And then dirt, like the closest thing to the streets, you know what I'm saying? Like not to compare myself to any other rappers or anything like that, you know what I'm saying? But the general consensus about the industry is that a lot of things are being fabricated and a lot of things are not authentic. A lot of things that are said to be street are not street. That's just the general consensus. I'm not saying that's my opinion, you know, whatever. But anyway, all I know is, you know what I'm saying, what I do is genuine, genuine auto article, you know what I'm saying, whatever you want to call it. And there is the closest thing to the street, to the ground, to the earth, you know what I'm saying, whatever, whatever. So I'm relatively new to the game, you know, you know what I'm saying, I'm close to the streets. Like, I got the whole West Side with me right now. Like, what more can this I do? This is very true. See about the entire Reesville. All 13 of them in here. See, what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna get a little condemned building. We're going to turn the water on. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get some, some empty bottles. Right. We're going to package it up. We're going to package it, and we're going to sell Reesville water to give these flavorless people a little bit of taste of our swag. You know what I'm saying? Word. And the world's gonna be a, a much brighter and happier place. You feel what I'm saying? It's something in that Reveal water. It's something in that Reveal water. <laughs> I don't know true. what it is. What interview question are you just tired of being asked? Actually, that first one you asked me, what, where did you get your name? Yeah, but just because <laughs> you've been asked that before, it, I've been asked I that. And look, I'm a, that I, tell me all interviewers, answer. radio DJs, radio personalities, <laughs> every time y'all ask me that question, I'm gonna give you a different answer yeah. every time. Y'all be like, yeah. and I'll be like, yeah, I could sit around 15 months figuring out a name where I could drop two mixtapes. You feel what I'm saying? Young Dirt. There you go. But to keep it high, though, my name, like, in, in, in Reesville, my name, my nickname always been Dirty. And I really don't know why. It's not like I'm a dirty person. You feel what I'm saying? Bask. I took a bath. Really? You know what I'm talking about? I got deodorants <laughs> and all of that. You know what I'm talking really? about? You got <laughs> What you know about that tussie? What you know, what you know about that tussie? Hold up. Dollar Store Fresh. Hold on, pause. Let me ask you a question. Ask me a question. <laughs> <laughs> like, really, my first thought is like, all right, let me look at the crowd and see what they feeling. Because every show I go, this is like a pointer to all the artists out there. When you go to a show, don't anticipate your crowd. Because you can be going to the hooded spot, and it might be the night that all the ladies come out. Now you going up in there, rapping all this bang bang, shoot them up, and them females is looking at you like, we don't like him. He's too gangster, you know, like that. Now nah, you can go, and the you ER. definitely, you <laughs> definitely, you definitely don't want to be that guy. And when I say that guy, don't be that guy singing to a crowd full of dudes. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't be that guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, Co-sign. Bring, bring, you know what I'm saying? Bring an assortment, you know what I'm saying? And that's why there's, there's certain levels you have to go through before I feel like you're ready to be, you know what I'm saying, doing performances. Like, please, 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 practice, practice, practice. Don't just go up there and rap. Cause you did it at the studio and you remember the words. Don't just go and perform because you know the song. Don't remember the words. If you know you don't know the words, rap to the open track. So we can't hear your real words with you saying some different words. That is a hot garbage garbage truck juice mess. Garbage garbage truck juice mess. We don't even want that on our hands. It's a karaoke mess. But that's the problem with the with the whole music game as a whole. Like people have become too sensitive. You know what I'm saying? There was a time that people get booed off the stage because you whack, because you whack. If you're she whack, you're supposed to get booed off the stage. Now it's like, no, nah, we're supposed to support each other. Yeah, there is a limitation on support, bro. Like, if you don't need to rap, don't rap. There's a thousand positions in the hip hop community other than rapper. 
publicist, there is management, there is uh, producer. producer, there is garbage uh, uh, maintenance man. Sweet gut beat.